Hey everybody, and welcome back to CATS. Contemporary Art Talk Show. C-A-T-S. C-A-T-S. S-T-A-C. Today we've got something kind of exciting. We're bringing you some more female <clears throat> artists like we've done before. What is there? More female artists and more male artists. We're bringing both to the table this time. And, um, yeah, I'd like to say... I think we, our studio found some badass art to talk about. Did some good ones. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. I haven't really seen, haven't had a chance to look at the images. I saw the list of names. Let's get started. Up first, we have Liza Lou. Could be Liza Lou. I'm not sure. L-I-Z-A-L-O-U. Uh, female American artist who is a badass and talks about kitchens and women's rights and cleaning exactly and which is where i'm gonna start off right away saying that this is a zero because like if we're gonna talk about women women artists whoever picked this out did derek did you pick this out okay well if we we're talking about women's art women artists let's not show a kitchen first thing because right. that's not where yeah, women I think, uh, belong necessarily i think a strong, know, like a strong feminist unless they can, like to be in the kitchen sure can portray can the, kitchen. the kitchen knowing that we move past that i think it talks about consumerism uh, identity, politics, the pink, the pink in the kitchen, this liberation, is, this is a... liberate. Um, I think it's great. I think um, she found a way to work in pop culture with the tide, the tide box. I, I would like it if they showed maybe like a barbecue set or something, bedazzle barbecue set or whatever they did here. No, nah, I'm not impressed. Yeah, I, I see your point, um, but I don't, I don't agree with you at all. Okay. Don't let me know. All right. Um, so something we got this over here too. Oh, something interesting is all of the, uh, the, it's not actually a painting, it's beadwork. So it's three-dimensional room. This, everything has been beaded in its entirety. Bedazzled. Pretty exciting. Yeah. Two thumbs up. I'm sure Jay has the same rating. Two thumbs down. All right, I want to, I just want to know, I do not agree with Jay's assessment of this work. Moving right along, we have Laurent and Paduglia. I think I heard a crowd. All right. Uh, Laurent is from Liege, Belgium. I might have mispronounced that. I think it's on the C. And um, an amazing work. I mean, you, if you reference a dungeon, you got me right there. A castle. The road looks like something. It's like a lightning bolt road. Yeah. Okay, so I like the lightning bolt road. I like the castle. And I like the... Uh, you ever heard of uh, Bruce Springsteen's uh, Thunder Road? I haven't, I haven't listened to a lot of Bruce Springsteen. Anyways, this is a great piece, except awesome. for one thing. If you're going to make a text-based art, which I know you like, mm -hmm. if you're going to make a text-based art, and, and, and the majority of the picture is the text that's on front of the art, you probably should spell dungeon correctly. All right. I hear your point. I don't necessarily agree, and here's why. In Belgium, the, two official, or the three official languages are German, French, and Dutch. Not English. Okay. So... Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not giving him a pass on that. No, but here's the thing. In more, you can just you can search it. Just search dungeon and how to spell it correctly. Not it could be a reference on. to folk art, though. Okay. Folk art, a lot, there's a lot of misspellings. I don't know. I don't think All right, two good. thumbs up. Nah, one down, one up. Okay. It's not a bad one. Then inside was one down. Can't win them all. Spelling. So three out of four is a bad. That's not bad. Moving right along. We, you know, we, we went from, you know, this uh, Lorenz Speaks German, which is our next artist, is a German-based artist. Wait, wait, wait. It just says PVZ. PVZ. Philippe? Philippe von Zweck. Is that a woman? Philip? Philippe? Philippe? We think it is. Sorry if it's not. All right. Austrian artist. We brought you two badass artists, and we, we're bringing you one. Lemon. Not, not so great. One lemon. One lemon of the group. So, like my art teacher in high school, Johnny Lovett, used to say, they can't all be winners. This one is definitely not winning. Now, this doesn't necessarily represent Philippe's uh, work entirely. If you want to look more up, just I would suggest searching on any of these artists. And maybe we just picked the one terrible, you know. It's funny because that they, that they did. It could, they could have more out there that's better, but this no, one. What's funny is the studio found this particular artist on a website called Two Coats of Paint .com, and there's only one coat of paint, <laughs> like one color. One blue. It gets better though. Listen to this: appropriated texts and portraits of scientists, occultists, and historians are the starting points for many of Philip von Zweck's challenging new paintings. And challenging is not in quotes. So, is it probably should be. In quotes. I think it should be in quotes. But that's, that's that's where I was going with this. Yeah. Uh, I think before you'd uh, mention that he is German or Austrian. Austrian. Okay. So maybe he made these in the Alps. I think you know, he did. Maybe. I think he made his own paint because how would you buy paint? Middle of winter. At an art store in the middle of winter on a mountain. You've seen Sound of Music. It's out in the middle of nowhere. 
Um, so apparently starts, starting points are, are pretty interesting in, in Austria, but not actually finishing the yeah. work. So two, two thumbs down. If, down I had, again. if I had a couple more hands to grab and get more thumbs down, I would. Maybe more. So, so far I've got uh, I want to apologize to our, down. Yeah, I want to apologize to our this viewers. I thought we had more. a lot of momentum going forward on the first two artists, and then we lost it. So we're going to try. Well, I don't try, think. We're going to come back hard with Chow Fei. A Chinese uh, oh. woman, a oh. woman who, a Chinese multimedia artist, does work that blends the old and new world with our hyper fast culture. The above photograph from her UN cosplay series pretty much says it all. And I think out of all of the four that we picked today, this is by far the one that I will give only, the only one that receives two thumbs up from me. I think this is awesome. I think I grew up watching VR Troopers. Uh, watching, you know, Turtles, watching uh, uh, Power Rangers, and superheroes. And, and uh, superheroes really have a place for me. And I think with the Spider Man in the background, and the guy from uh, the Stormtrooper in the front, I give it two thumbs up. This no, is awesome. I don't agree. I don't agree with. I, you told me before the show started that cosplay means costumes. Be who you are, not who you are not. Um, you don't need a costume. Just be yourself. And, and the costume um, represents necessarily what could be inside of any of us. We're all heroes in some extent. It, it looks kind of badass with the shovel and the rubble and debris and superhero references. Cool. Number Two one, I would have put the Spider-Man in front and the Star Trek figure in this the back. From Star Trek, and I wouldn't put that in the back that goes in the front. And I, I wouldn't have shown an image of destruction. I would have shown an image of the two um, superheroes standing in front of a well-constructed building after the rubble. You know, it was cleared away. Yeah, maybe they. It's not this, safe. this could be like a, this could be a narrative here. This yeah. could be a Play, scene where they fought some bad guys, destroyed. The, there's so much going on. Yeah. It, 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 playing, it, playing in a pile of rubble it, 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 is something that's going to get someone hurt. No, it's and not. It's about, swinging it, shovels. It, it, it could represent a great narrative. Two thumbs up. All right. So we discussed the four artists here today. Yeah. So one thing we can say we we can agree on is it was all contemporary. That we showed you a lot of. Pretty contemporary sure work. it's all contemporary. Yep. 